Hello and welcome. A practice today to create a bit more space in our body. Some side opening postures. A few twists and some strengthening for our core and legs, which is always a good thing. Come and sit. Come and sit nice and still and give yourself time to arrive, time to settle. Shut your eyes and look inwards. And let the breath settle. Focus on this basic body rhythm. And be aware of the rise and fall of the breath. And take a few breaths, breathing into your tummy, up into your ribs, into your chest into your back and a nice long slow out breath and pause and come again up into the tummy up into the ribs into the chest into the back and a nice long slow complete out breath and carry on with a few more of those in your own time Maybe start to breathe a little bit deeper now, up into the tummy, up into the sides of the ribs, into the collarbone area, between the shoulders. A nice long, slow out breath. And about three more in your own time. A little bit deeper, a little bit slower, a little bit smoother. When you're done three, just let the breath settle. And then bring yourself back into the practice. And we'll do a big stretch up and opening up to the side of the body, making some space, pulling on the rope. A little bit higher, you have to reach a little bit higher as here, lengthening through the sides of the body. And next time you reach the left arm up, hold it, stretch out. Right hand takes left wrists and ease it over to the right to stretch through the left side. Push down with your sitting bones, make some space, soften the shoulders. Release that right arm down and come into a side bend. Breathe well. Maybe a little bit of softness in that right elbow there. Softness in the shoulders, and if you like, then start to spin your ribs, your chest towards the left. Just adapt to suit yourself. Some might even get the elbow down. And then take that left hand, hand each side of the right outer hip thigh and push down, bend the elbows, come into a little side bend here. And feel the space you're making through the left side as you push down with your left sitting bone. And some of you might even get the forehead down. The sitting bone will rise now, but no worries. Let's fold in here. And then look at the left hand, place it on the right outer thigh, and come into a twist towards your right. Breathe well. So 
So twists are so beneficial for us, both physically, energetically, emotionally. All of our energy centers, our chakras, are based up the spine, so very stimulating. For the subtle energy channels and the physical energy. Breathe well. Come to the center. And maybe if it feels good and you need to change the cross of your legs or sit a different way and reach up and we'll start to pull on the rope. Reach the right arm up, take a big stretch and over you come. Breathe well. Maybe release the left eye. You might start to spin your ribs, your heart, you can turn the palm up or you could rest the elbow down. Lovely, one more breath. And then fold in, bend the elbows, fold in towards the left, stretch through the right side. And maybe some will get the head down, keep the elbows in. When you sit bones will lift on the right side probably, but no worry, just fold in. Be aware of where you feel there, the breath, the sensation. Come up slowly, fingertips behind you, breathing in energy, breathing out, letting that energy wash all the way through you. To revitalize you, recharge you, get you ready for your practice today. Maybe give your tummy an extra nice squeeze too. That's it, breathe well. And come to the front and make a little bit of length through the front of the body and we're hinged forward. Keep the length of the front and the sides and come to a place that feels okay for you, which might be here or some might come all the way forward. So it's good to have a blanket or a little cushion under your sitting bones. Some might even get fingertips on the mat. Keep dropping the chest, relaxing the forehead. Lengthening out of the waist. And breathing into the mid back, breathing out, relaxing your low back. Shoulders soft, face soft, come up lovely and slowly. Well done. So we're going to come into kneeling here, release anything we're sitting on, come into a low kneel and take a, a brick or a block or a book or something and put it on your right side, okay? And come and kneel beside that brick or block, it can be either way on. And let's stretch out your left leg. So you're coming into a gate, Paragasna, the gate. Reach your left arm out, palm to the front, palm to the back, and just wrap it round and lean on in there into your side bend. In is the shoulder back. Your foot could be placed how it's comfortable, like that, like that, or like that, whatever's best. So don't collapse in the underside of the body, keep lengthening through the right side. And if it's right for you, lift up, make some space, and you might bring the arm over. Five nice deep breaths here. Breathe well. 
And you might stay there, or you might put your hand on your hip and see if we can raise that left leg. So I'm feeling it here in the outer thigh. <laughs> and maybe we'll do some little pulses and we go one, two, three, four. Keep smiling, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Another ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Stay strong. Eight, nine, ten. You can do ten more. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, give it a nice rub. Thank you, leg. It's good for the outer thigh. Good to strengthen that IT band, which keeps your hips and your knees nice and stable. Take your left, right hand and place it on the floor in front of you. You might need to make a fist. And take your left hand on your waist for a moment and start to spin to the left and open up. Nice rotation here. Hold the twist. Maybe turn the pinky finger towards the back of the head because that's going to slide the shoulders down the back. Keep twisting. And then look at that top arm, that left arm. I'm going to thread the needle. So you might want to put a cushion or a block under your head there to support you. I'm going to get snuggly there and cozy with that shoulder. And Press the right hand on the floor, bend the elbow so you can get into that shoulder. Let's take about five to eight breaths here and allow ourselves to soften. And relax. And I stretch through the inner thigh on the left side. Keep getting into that right shoulder. Maybe walk the hand away to a place that feels good and you can get in behind the shoulder. And shut the eyes. Be aware of sensation. Stay with the breath. Let's take a couple more breaths. And come up nice and slowly. Get your hands there. So this is a, a cat cow. Lift the leg out like that. An asymmetrical one. Mobilise the spine. Come to neutral. Big stretch back. You lift it a bit higher for that left leg. Inhale. As you exhale, take your left knee towards your left elbow and give it a tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, round the back and get your forehead on your knee. Good. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take it across in a twist. Brilliant. Let's come and do a few of them. Normal cat cows here. Following the breath, maybe shutting the eyes, mobilizing your spine. Being aware of any sensations in your spine, any effects the breath has on you. Where can you feel this? Well done. So we might want to just relax like that a moment. We might want to take the knees apart and rest the forehead here. Just letting go. 
or take the arms forward, allowing yourself to soften. Feel the support of the earth, feel the breath. And know that following the breath and feeling supported by the earth is a, a great foundation for our practice together today. Well then come up nice and slowly, well done. So other side. Put your brick on your left side, walk over to the left, stretch your right leg out. So wrap the arm round and lean on in there into that stretch, roll the shoulder back. Nice firm tummy. So if the shoulder's not happy, you might want to stay there. I can bring the arm up and take it over. Make sure there's plenty of space between the shoulder and the neck. And also softening that left shoulder. So can we lift that leg? So we could either hold it there, flex the foot, or we could do some, actually it's quite handy to put your hand on your waist, that helps a bit, doesn't it? And we can do some more pulses if you like. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Can we go for ten more? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Oh, I can really feel that. I don't think I've got the stamina I had when I was younger. <laughs> Take your left hand just in front of you, right hand on the hip and start to rotate towards the right. A lovely open twist here. Keep pressing down with the left hand to make it a little bit more juicy there. Breathe well. And then we're going to thread our needle again. So take something under your right ear if it's comfortable, find a comfy place. And maybe it's quite nice to bend the left elbow and get into that shoulder there and walk the hand away or near so you can, or out so you can feel it in that shoulder. Let's hold for five to eight breaths. Relaxing with the breath. Allowing yourself to soften. Still and soft, letting go. Up nice and slowly and do some of our cat cows. Very symmetrical cat cows. That's it, don't rush it. Nice and slow. See how much space you can make. Good. Hold it there. Lift up that right leg and lift it high, inhale, exhale, tuck the right tricep, inhale, forehead to knee and squeeze round the back, inhale, reach, exhale, tuck the left tricep, well done. A few ordinary cats and cows.
well done. So come and sit after that. You don't need your block for the moment. Have a drink or anything you need. Let's circle our wrists. Give the fingers a wiggle. And then breathing and drawing the energy up. Exhale, let it wash through you. A big breath of joy, inhale. Give yourself a little hug and fold in. Settle there. Nice little bit of flexion in the spine as you gather in. Find some stillness and some quiet. Unravel slowly. So you've got room behind you, another big breath of joy. Take your hands behind you and bend the elbows. So this is where we start starting. A bit of strengthening for your core and your legs. Come with me. I'm going to breathe in. So it's like a half boat. Breathe out. As you breathe in, you take your knees over to your right. You stretch your left. Breathing out to centre, breathing in over to the left, stretch the right leg, okay. Breathing out to centre, breathe in half boat, let's come again. Breathe out, breathe in towards your right, breathe out centre, breathe in left, stretch the right leg, breathe out centre, and to boat. One more on each side, breathe in. Breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, boat. We're coming over to the right, holding it there. And sit up, we're in a twist here, Ardha Matsya and Drasana. Sit nice and tall, you twist over to the left. So fingertips behind you beautifully lightly, you can either give yourself a hug or you might come like that. Let's breathe well into our twist, stimulating our centres of energy. A little bit of compression for our digestive organs. I've got a few words to say here. They're called, you must trust. You must trust in yourself that the twists and turns you encounter in life are there for a larger plan for you. But those twists and turns will eventually unwind to a point in which you realise that it all had to happen that way. Let's see if we can come a little bit deeper in. Okay. And then come all the way round, derotate and we'll hold that. Well done. And releasing the top leg. Giving a nice big stretch out and the knees out and we'll come again for the other side. I sit nice and tall, breathing in, exhaling, letting the energy wash through you for a big breath of joy. Let's take another hug here, gather in. Take time to rest. Come up, another big breath of joy, take your hands behind you for the starting position. Nice firm tummy in this, breathe in, breathe out, to your left this time. Breathe in, right leg comes to the left, exhale to the centre, inhale to the right, exhale to the centre and baby boat, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more to each side, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, coming over to your left, holding it there, 
and coming into a twist to the right. So sit beautifully and tall. Just check you're sitting lovely and tall to start with. You've got that lovely straight spine. Take the fingertips behind you. Give yourself a little hug there and guide yourself round. Giving your tummy an extra squeeze. And to start with, you want to go about 70% of your twist. Go about 70%. And then with the breath, you might be able to get round a wee bit further. Using those out breaths to ease you round a little bit further. Breathe well, about another five breaths here. Let's just ease it out the other way. Do you okay? Well done. So from here, I think it's nice to stretch the legs out in down dog, cross the ankles, hold over, come and take down dog, stretch it out. Take two or three breaths here. So you can either hold down dog, have a rest, or we can move on and go a little bit stronger. Come with me if you're going to. You're going to lift the heels up, lift the right leg up. It's what you did kneeling. Draw your right knee towards your right tricep and hover. Inhaling up. Draw your right knee towards the centre and round the back. Inhaling up. Now can you take the right knee across the left tricep in a twist here, okay. So that might be where you want to come to and you might want to relax after that. Some might take the foot through, the outer right foot through towards the outer left hand. So I'm there, so it's like that, take it through. And then I can take that left foot down on the mat and I can open up to a fall in triangle. If this is too much, have a rest. You might even open up a little bit more back bend there if you've got this one. Stay strong. Sweep the hand down. Come back. Come onto your knees. Just gather up and take a little rest a moment before we do the other side. Breathe well. Relax your wrists, relax your foreheads, relax your back, go beautifully, allow yourself to soften. Shall we come again? So you can always rest if you want to, otherwise onto hands and knees, down dog. Lift the heels. Lift the left leg up, very tall. Bend the knee, just tap the left tricep. Inhale, stretch it up. Round the back, flex the spine. Inhale, lift, tap the right tricep. I've got room, I've got to walk out a little bit. <laughs> and that's it, tap the right tricep. So either stay there, hold it there for a couple of breaths, or just relax in child's dog or take the foot through. So you're going to turn towards the right, I'm turning away from you, your back foot faces the floor and you open up. Stay for about five breaths, that's two, three, four, five. So it's always coming out of this isn't it? You can give the leg a big stretch up, come down. We're going to take a little walk to the front of the mat, a little walk to the front of the mat. And slowly, slowly gather up. Relax your shoulders. So that was quite a strong one, wasn't it? I'm going to have um, a brick or a block in front of me because we'll be doing half moon balance later on. 
And even if you can reach the floor in half moon balance, I still like to have a brick or a block. I just feel it lifts me higher. I feel more balanced, okay. A little side bend here before we start. So you can stand facing the front just so you can see me, okay. You're going to take your right foot in front of your left. You're going to reach your arms up. Left hand grabs your right wrist. A little stretch through the right side here. And then maybe, can you keep that back knee soft? And can you lift the right foot leg up? Never mind the wobbles and relax. So do the other side. Left foot comes in front. Reach up. Right hand grabs the left wrist. Stretch to the left side. Lift that front foot up and stretch it out. Okay, to tummy muscles. Three. Hold the breath. Just one more breath. Breathing in. And out. Well done. So we're going to come up, breathing in. Come to the earth. Step back with the left foot. Heel out. Heel and toes out. Bend the right knee. Come up for the just the one. Hold for five. So you can have the arms separate or you can make the mood drop. Just check the hips are squared off, left hip forward, right hip back, the tummy's nice and firm. And open up your back bend a little bit more if you want. If you want to take your hands behind the nape of your neck, that might give you a little bit more space here. Straighten the front leg and sink a wee bit deeper. Put your left hand on your hip and draw it forward a little bit. Right hand on the hip, draw it back. And then reach up through the left arm. I'm going to open to two. So I'm going to walk that foot back a bit and sink down through strong legs. As you breathe in, root down and extend. And as you breathe out, see if you can make a little bit more space. Breathe in, root down and extend. Breathe out a little bit more space. Lovely strong legs. Straighten the front leg and sink a little bit deeper. Straighten it and keep it straight. Stretch it back. I'm going to come into triangle. So reach. Take your hand to wherever it falls, the knee, the shin. Maybe hold the big toe, roll open there from the waist. Put your hand on your low back, check it's nice and level. And then if it's right for you, you can lift the arm up. Just enjoy all the space you're creating through the side of the body today in your triangle. Such a beautiful lateral stretch and really stimulating for your gallbladder and liver meridians. And some of you might want to have a rest now. Some might want to take the arm over by the ear. And some might just want to come into this lovely sort of curve, this lovely sort of bendy triangle. And look under the armpits, the left armpit, or down towards your pinky toe. So stay open. Still a lateral stretch, not a forward bend. Keep spinning your ribs, your heart towards the left. Let gravity, the weight of your body, just ease you out. 
Well done. Bend the front knee, hand each side to frame the front foot. Turn the toes towards the front. Knee soft, step back down dog. Take a few nice restorative breaths in your down dog. Lift the heels up. If it's right for you, lift the right leg up. Big stretch. Draw the knee through, round the back. Step through into your runner's lunge or your mountain. So it's like a, a pyramid posture, Parjvottanasana, with the heel off, your left heel's off. And snuggle down there. You might need to bend the right knee a little bit. See if you can just work the right ribs towards the right inner thigh. The gaze is over your toes. Chin towards the shin. Allow yourself to soften. And if you want a stronger stretch, curl the toes up towards you. About five to eight breaths here. And one more breath. Breathing in. Breathing out. We're coming to our balance now. Bend your right knee. Some of you might want to rest. Some might just lift up the left foot and have a go at the standing splits. If you want to have a go at the half moon, a bit of softness in the front knee. Now I do like to put my right hand on this brick, which is just in front of my right foot to the right there. And I'm going to externally rotate that left hip. And that might be enough. You might be able to lift your left hand up and put it on the outer left hip there and roll the shoulder back. Inner foot faces the floor. I'm just thinking going to open up here a little bit. Getting this lateral stretch. And then if it's right for you, you might be able to lift the top palm up. Might even be able to look up. And don't worry about the wobbliness. Keep the tummy nice and firm. Draw up my labanda, you can do it. Keep pushing down on your block. Pushing down into the support of the earth. And knowing that when we work hard to balance a wobbly pose and find stillness in it, we can take the skills off the mat into our everyday life. If you want to make this a little bit deeper, you bend the back knee. Oh, 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 let's see if you can find a bar. Well done. Lift the leg up. Ha <laughs> ha. Step back into a lunge. Take down dog. Let's take five restorative breaths here and stretch it out. That was quite hard work, wasn't it? Well done. So you can come down through a plank or you can come with me, knees down for a long sort of cut. I'm going to remove my block. Come on to your mat. Oh, a little wiggle. Take your hands in front of your shoulders and keep the elbows down. Five dynamic cobras here. Inhaling up, stay as low or as high as you want. Exhaling down. And leading with your nose. Two. Three. Well done. down. Take your hands under your shoulders, take a nice big stretch through your back heel and relax for a few breaths. Let's 
Let's come on to down dog again. About three nice breaths here. A big step through with the right foot, big step through with the left foot, forward bends. Inhale, look up, exhale, fold deeper. The in breath brings us all the way up because we've got to do the other side. So take your brick, and place it in front of you. I'm just going to turn around so you can see me better. Breathing in and exhaling down. Stepping back with the right leg, toes out heel in. Warrior one. See if you can make a bit more space through the front of the body, straighten the front leg, bend a bit deeper. Maybe take your hands down to the back of your neck and open up the shoulders here. Maybe support your head a bit and be aware of that lovely stretch through your back. Keep your lumbar spine long, your tummy firm. Place your left hand on your left hip, reach up through the right side and circle back. So I'm making a little bit wider distance between my feet so I'm reaching the centre. Beautifully strong. Straighten the front leg and sink a little bit deeper there. Breathe well. Your very best warrior too. Straighten the front leg. Take a big stretch all the way through the left side of the body and keep that length through the underside as you reach and take your hand to whatever you need to for trikonasana. Keep spinning your ribs, your chest round, drawing that right hip back. So it's a bit of a twist in itself. That left knee can be a little bit bent or soft. Don't lock it and reach up. Breathe up, breathe in, lengthen your spine, breathe in, breathe out maybe a bit more rotation there. Let the breath settle you into position. When you breathe out, see how much space you can make. Spread your toes out, make a firm foundation, lift through the arches. And maybe if it's right for you, come over to a more of a lateral stretch, more of a diagonal here and stretch it out. And then we can just go all droop here and we can hang out there. And I could use my left arm to push against the left leg to help me to open up even more here. It's a little bit of a twist for the thoracic here. Keep following the breath, being aware of the sensations. Nice soft knees, but drawing up through the thighs. Well done. Bend the front knee. Let your hands frame the front foot. Right toes turn to the front. Step back and take a few restorative breaths in down dog here. Now these are quite strong postures, so you want to get that balance of strength, but being relaxed and soft with it, not overdoing it, listening to what you need. And then lift the left leg up, draw the knee towards your nose and step through, Ooh, help it through if it didn't go like that into your runner's lunge. And see if you can start to nestle with your left ribs towards your left, left inner thigh, your chin towards your shin. And push back through the left sitting bone, square the hips in. And then curl the left toes up if you want as you hang out there. About five to eight breaths here. Mm. 
for two more lovely slow breaths. Breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly, breathing in soft and deep, breathing out softly. Well done. So we're going to come to our balance now. Softness in the front knee, keep it bent, and lift up the right leg. Stage one, standing split. So you might want to stay there, just hang out there, that's fine. So it's nice to have the brick and place it just out of front of the left foot, but to the side. Anywhere you like is the good. Push down against it, externally rotate the hip. That's it, put your hand on your hips, spread your toes out, make that good foundation, and then you can reach. I can get a lot more even posture when I have the, have the brick, even though I can reach the floor. Stay with the breath, stay still. Nice firm tummy helps, maybe drawing up through Mulabanda. If you want to bend the knee and take this a little bit deeper, some of you might. I do find it hard to look up. If I look up, I get the wobbles. I have a little try there, but I might fall over. <laughs> Wonderful. Come down. Oh, we may be there. <gasps> Let's take one more lovely down dog stretch here. And ease it out there. Have a wiggle. We're doing really well here. <laughs> Good. So you're coming down to our mat. You can just take a nice long sort of child posture and come down. Or you can come down through your plank. Draw the shoulders over the wrist and come down slowly. Take a moment to soften. Take, keep the elbows down or take the hands in front of the shoulders. Let's hold our cobra. Breathe in, draw the chest through. Breathe out, lengthen the spine. And you might have to come up a little bit higher if you push your thighs into the mat, the tops of your feet into the mat. And see if you feel a little bit more open than when you started. Tummy first. Come all the way down, either take a rest or sweep the arms around and interlink the fingers behind the back. Reach the arms up and come into snake. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Just look ahead. It's right for you, lift the legs off. Five breaths. So nice and strengthening for your low back. Keep breathing, that really helps. Ah, oh, well done. So either make a pillow of your hands, do some windshield wipers, or take a moment to rest in flapping fish and stay soft. Feeling the earth supporting you, letting go. Relaxing with the breath. And taking time to absorb all that good work we've done today. Well done. Let's come and roll onto our backs now. I'd like to ease our inner shoulder bridge. Have a drink or anything you need, huh? Just 
You can relax the arms down by the side. We did this last week. It's always nice to sometimes repeat things. See if, how different it feels. So I quite like to squeeze a block between my knees and one between my feet, just, just so I can keep the alignment. Don't worry if you haven't got one. Palms are up, it makes it a little bit more challenging. Down they might assist you. Check your feet are fairly near, your heels are fairly near your sitting bones, but not too near, of course. I'm just going to squeeze the block if you've got it between your feet and your knees. Just press the small of the back into the mat. Curl up, lift, lift up your pubic bones. Curl up towards your shoulders. And then come down. How slowly, slowly, slowly can you come down? Think about your lovely, healthy spine. We do with we do with this with the breath, breathing in, breathing out. Up you come. Breathing at the top, and come down nice and nice and exhale and slow. Well done. Shall we come again? Breathe in. Breathe out as you come up. And really slowly, just like your spine is a string of pearls. And by one, well done. Mm. You're going to do three more in your own time. So remember the breath. You breathe in, you breathe out as you come up. Might see you can get a little bit higher towards the shoulders, but watch the neck. Okay, you hold the in breath. So you hold, you breathe in at the top. And then you breathe out as you come down with control. It's lovely and strengthening for your legs and your hips. But equally, a beautiful heart opening posture. Really good to mobilize your spine. You can even shut your eyes. Don't rush these. The slower and the more mindfully, the better. Keep your tummy lovely and firm now. I'm going to come up one more time. When you've done your three, bring the arms with you if it's right for you. Take a few breaths when you stretch back and lift a bit higher. Pushing your thighs up like you've got to carry a big weight, lift a bit of big weight. And as you reach back, how slowly, slowly can you lower your spine? Beautifully slowly. Vertebra by vertebra. All the way down. Stretch it up. Fabulous. And float the arms down. Release any bricks or blocks. Just draw our knees up and take a little rock there. Rock from side to side, give the back a massage. And maybe take your happy baby, that's a lovely stretch for your back after this. Relax with the breath. I rock from side to side. So today, some of you might like to come into a shoulder stand. 
Some of you might like to lay with your legs up the wall, that's always nice. Some of you might like to put a blanket or a, a little cushion under your low back. I do this if, if you lay with your legs up the wall. A bit of support there. That's quite nice as well if you if you haven't got a wall. Take time to relax and shut your eyes. It's even nice if you've got an eye bag just to put it on there a moment. Let yourself soften. But if you're going to do shoulder stand, it's a lot more difficult when I'm not in the room with you. So make sure you really know how to do it and make sure you know how to come down. Bend your knees, put your feet on the floor. So coming up into shoulder stand, so you lift up, lift your bum up, take the legs over. So this is a half shoulder stand, that might be enough for you there, okay? Mental wedge and support it with your hands. Otherwise you can bend the knees and we can walk our hands a little bit back behind. Up our back, get the elbows in and can find our shoulder stand. So we'd probably hold our shoulder stand for about 10 breaths. Make sure you're on your shoulders and not on your neck. If you want to come up a bit higher, you can bend the knees. And we might be able to come up a little bit higher then. Don't overdo it. It's really nice to take some time to rest up side down, your heart below your feet. Allow yourself to soften. Stay with the breath. So some of you in shoulder stand might want to start to take your Feet over into um, a plow. If you've got legs up the wall, stay there and relax. You might interlink your fingers behind your back, providing your feet are touching the earth. And if you've got your setium behind you on your bed, you can always put your feet up there. It's quite nice. I think that's a Good thing about doing it at home. Or you can do it up against the wall. Some of you might want to do variations. You might want to take legs a little bit apart. You can lay up against the wall and take your legs apart, or you can do butterfly. Some of you might get your knees by your ears or work in that direction. This is called sleeping yogi, yoga nidra mudra. Take a few more breaths wherever you are. Just 
through the set by the wall. Now coming down really carefully, your arms up, just leave us. How slowly can you roll down? Don't lift your head up, don't lift your shoulders up. And when the legs are vertical, bend the knees, put the feet on the mat. So fish, this isn't for everybody. Some of you might want to just take your arms under your body and rest on the back of your hands, roll the shoulders under. Take a few deep breaths into the space of the heart. So that's nice counter posture to your um, shoulder stand. So I might bend the elbows and lift up. Get that lovely stretch through the front body and take the crown of the head towards the floor. And you can straighten the legs. I've got room there, or however you want. <laughs> you might come into a, a butterfly. Breathe well. Make sure your head isn't hovering off the mat. And this isn't for everyone. Stay there if it's right for you or just take the easy option like that. You've still made a nice sort of space in your chest and your heart centre. Relax into the posture. Take a couple more breaths. Come down slowly, well done. So a windshield wipe. And then decide what sort of twist you want. This might be nice. You might want to do a bind, eagle legs or something. Quite nice to come onto your side and open up that rainbow. Press your head into the mat, spread your shoulders out and unsettle. Relax. Allow yourself to soften. Push you through that right out of thigh. Find a place of stillness. Using your breath to nourish you. And some of you might want to go a bit deeper and stretch out that top leg. You can hold your big toe if you like. A bit more. Couple more breaths. Can you make it a bit juicier? Well done, bend the knee. Come to the centre. Press your feet into the mat, shift your hips over to the left and ease the knees over to the right. Palms together and open up that left shoulder. Find a place that's snuggly and, and comfortable and relax. You might look down towards your fingers or you might stretch your arm behind you. Letting go. If anybody wants to straighten out that underneath leg, I've got settee to rest on today. <laughs> it might feel nice. If you really lengthen your tailbone and check in for any sensations and see if you can soften around the edges of those. Where do you feel the sensations? 
What do they feel like? Maybe they're a shape. Maybe they're a colour. Maybe they're on the surface or maybe they're deeper. Your hips. Your low back. Your shoulders. Where are they? Do they stay in one place or do they move? Maybe draw the knees in a bit more, maybe make it a bit more juicier. Let's take a couple more breaths. Come to the centre. Take a sucked by the canasana, maybe. A little bit of a rock from side to side. To ease it out here. Good. It's time to check in and see how you feel. See if you feel more spacious. More energetic or less. More relaxed. I'm going to do a breathing exercise here. So I do like to have my bolster. If you have bought a couple of pillows, that would be nice. Maybe put the video on pause and get something if you haven't got anything. And I've got my bolster. I'm going to make a little support for it like that. A brick. Okay. These bricks are a bit flimsy, sometimes they don't stay up very well. I've got a nice place to rest here, see? Fine, it doesn't fall down, be like that. It's quite nice, it legs apart. These could be bent, like that. Butterfly. Something like that's comfortable. Relax. So if you haven't got your bolster, you take your pillows. Oh, you could lay on them. Like that. Just look at this lovely openness in the space of the heart, okay? Take time to settle and time to be still. Well done. Mm -hmm. Breath work. Put your hands on your tummy. Shut your eyes and look inside and connect to the breath here. Just feel the way the breath moves the body, the way the breath moves the tummy. As you breathe in, your tummy gently rises. Feel it push against your hands, and as you breathe out, navel to spine, tummy relaxes down. The whole body still and relaxed, just the movement of the breath. Breathing in, tummy rises. Breathing out, tummy falls. Letting go on the out breath. Making space. Relaxing back into that lovely pause at the end of the out breath. Finding softness. Our body softening now. Moving into stillness. See if you can make that out breath. Any more beautiful, any more longer. Breathing in, tummy rises. 
Breathing out any thoughts and relaxes. Do three more. Return to your natural resting breath and then bring the arms down by the side. Take a moment to see how you feel looking. Take your hands to the side of the lips. Feel the movement here. As you breathe in, feel the ribs expanding and pushing into your hands, into your palms. And as you breathe out, relaxing all the way down. Breathing in, ribs rising. Breathing out, relaxing down. Go with the breath. Hold awareness on the ribs. Hold awareness on the movement of the breath. This is a really nice exercise for your diaphragm and your breathing muscles. Expanding on the in-breath, letting go on the out-breath, softening. Stay with the movement, stay with the breath. Breathing in, ribs expanding. Breathing out, relaxing back. Eyes relax, soft and closed. Face relax, back, brow relax. Jaw relax, letting go. Three more breaths in your own time. How much more softer can you make yourself? How much more relaxed? Take a resting breath. Take time to look inwards. Now this one needs a bit more thinking about. One hand on your ribs, one hand on your tummy. You're going to breathe into your tummy. Breathe out, relax. Breathe into your ribs. Relax and carry on as you breathe into the tummy, the hand on the tummy rises. You breathe out, the hand relaxes back with the breath. Breathe into the ribs. Ribs expand, hand lifts. Breathe out, ribs soften, hand rests down. Carry on breathing into the tummy, breathing out, relaxing. Breathing into the ribs, breathing out, relaxing. Breathing into the tummy, breathing out, relaxing. Breathing into the ribs, breathing out, letting go. 
take a couple of natural breaths. So I'm losing my block. <laughs> a couple of natural breaths. And then swap over. And again, breathing into the tummy. Breathing out, relaxing. Breathing into the ribs. Breathing out, relaxing. Do three of each. Done your three, just relax. A few natural breaths. Feel the rebound of this posture. How does your breath feel? How do you feel? More spacious, more relaxed, more energy. Make our way slowly, fish of us. And so pop on anything warm, any props you need. You might still want to lay there on your bolster, or you might want to put your bolster or your cushion underneath your underneath your knees or something else. Just get cozy and comfortable. Take your time. When we rest in stillness and we look inside, focusing on the breath, we start to feel a sense of stability and positive grounding energy. Make sure you're comfortable and allow yourself to let go from head to toe. No effort in your breath now, no physical effort. Just relaxing back into the support of the earth. And knowing that you're safe and supported and begin to feel a sense of comfort within that space. Start to let go with each breath, finding heaviness, releasing tension and feeling more grounded. As you let your breath rock you and cradle you, and soothe away anything you don't need. Letting go in that beautiful pause, that still point at the end of the out breath, where you can really soften and you can really relax. Give yourself permission just to be, permission just to be for now.
very slowly bring your awareness back. Maybe take a few deep breaths. And start to be aware of your surroundings, the room around you. Any sounds? Your body resting on the mats. You start to move, you can start to wiggle fingers and toes. Circle wrists and ankles. Take a nice full body stretch if you like, or just draw your knees into your chest and use the little circles to massage your back here. Or a little rock from side to side. And very carefully come onto your side. Put your hand down and help yourself up to seated. You can finish this practice. Take your hands together, give them a lovely big rub. Feel the energy. And then warm your eyes and your hands, your forehead. Relax your eyes and the darkness. And slowly draw your hands down to your heart. Namaste. Om Shanti. Thank you for sharing the practice. If you like my video, there's plenty more on Jill's YouTube channel. Please say you like it and subscribe if you do. Or www.extayoga.org. Jill's Yoga. Thank you. This week um, I'm giving donations uh, to the Hope Foundation in India. It's a charity to provide help for the poorest street people in India, particularly the children. They built a children's hospital in Calcutta. So if you look at my website, there is a donation button and I'll send any donations to the charity. Thank you.